Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today we are going to discuss about CloudWatch. That what is CloudWatch, how does it work and what all features does it provide. Fine. So first of all, where do we need to uh, go for CloudWatch? We have to go to management tools and under management tools we have CloudWatch. We need to understand first of all that CloudWatch is regional service wherever you are working so you will be able to see all the metrics for that particular reason only you cannot fetch all the details around the account across your account so first of all as we see here that amazon cloud watch monitors operational performance metrics of your aws resources and applications you currently have 147 cloud watch metrics available in asia pacific mumbai region so 147 resources are there or you can call it available metrics are there so this is not fixed as much as services you will start utilizing so number of available metrics will be increased automatically this totally depends on number of metrics you are using within this region so let me show you some other regions where i have not utilized an either of service so you will be able to see that there is no metrics available reason being i have yet not initiated or utilized any resource there as you see no resource is as uh, that you do not have any monitor resources in this region so for now i'm going to go to mumbai region once again and i'm going to let you know how to configure your aws cloud watch for your for monitoring of your resources but before that i would like to request you guys please like share and subscribe to my channel and please do not forget to press, uh, press bell icon as you will be notified for my upcoming videos. Fine. So first of all, let us go to dashboard. We have to create a dashboard here where we are going to see our uh, resources and rest of features web server. So whatever name you want, you can give to your dashboard because may be possible that you are going to have all of your web server under this particular. So now this is a particular uh, widget, like what sort of widget you want to have on your dashboard. So I'm going to have lines here, you can configure it. Now what you want to monitor here, you will have to see for monitoring under this, I'm going to say that EBS, Elastic Block Service, I'm going to monitor all the volumes which are available here. So as you see that I have only one volume. This is particular metric section which you see here. Let me show you in a bit more bigger manner. Okay. So this is particular volume ID which we have. So volume idle time, volume read byte and all sections are available here with different color. So that totally depends that what all you want to monitor. If you want to monitor that only read, only idle time you want to monitor. So that will be added here. If you want to monitor read byte, so that will be added here and so on. Whatever you want to monitor, you can. Now, graph option, if you want to have like X axis, you want to monitor Y axis, you want to monitor, monitor stacked area, you want to have in such a fashion. So you can have whatever you want, you can configure it. If you want to have numbers, so you can have numbers as well in this particular section. So that totally depends only on you that how do you want to create. So that will be created and this graph is available here. If you want to drag and drop, so multiple different lines will be available here. Whatever you want, you can you can check and you can get output of your dashboard which you have configured. In the same manner, if you want to have if you want to enable monitoring for your this particular dashboard, like some other monitoring you want to have, so you can configure in the same fashion. So it's not about that you can add this particular section for your like EBS only you can talk about EC2 for instance metrics 80 like some somewhere 80 something metrics are available if you want to check that I have only one instance available instance ID is this so whatever you want to configure related to this like CPU utilization credit and all so all available metrics you can configure here create widget and that's it it means all the available metrics will be shown here on this particular graph so this is how you can configure your cloud watch and you can start utilizing your resources under this section. So this is 
uh, this is how it works now if you want to have some alarms so you can create one alarm here alarm on what basis you want to configure like ec2 matrix rds matrix so i'm going to configure on ec2 i'm going to say that if my cpu utilization goes high i, I want to say that if my cpu utilization for this instance goes high or uh, like remains up to this so you want to have one alarm instance name you can give here because i don't have any name uh, in my mind so i'm not going to give like that so name cpu then after description cpu monitor then after if this is equal to greater than or equal to for example 10 for one out of data points the data which will be collected from here so for how long this uh, this should be remaining same so i'm going to say for two consecutive data points now what is data point data points are defi defined by the period of set matrix it means one minute or five minutes so by, de by default we have matrix available uh, enabled for five minutes it means i have set this alarm for 10 minutes so if this particular matrix reaches the load remains 10 or uh, greater than 10 for consecutive periods of 2 it means 2 period of 5 minutes means overall 10 minutes we are talking about then treat this data is missing or good bad or whatever you want to configure then whenever this alarm is ok alarm or insufficient so I am going to say that this is alarm so notif send notification to new list or existing list so i will have to let, let us check do we have an existing list so i'm going to say new list so i will have to create a new list here of users i'm going to say server gyan at the rate gmail.com i'm going to say that send notification to this particular one if you want to have notif send notification some other uh, mail id so you can write comma separated if you want like ec2 actions to be performed here if load increases so either you can stop instance or you can terminate or you can reboot this instance it means cloud watch will take action on your behalf but for that you will have to have some uh, iam rule policy configured for this like aws service rule for cloud watch events will be enabled for this particular alarm because by default AWS CloudWatch is not allowed to take any action or to perform any action on behalf of you. So you will have to allow some IAM role and what is IAM role? It means identity and access management. I am going to explain within my upcoming videos so keep on watching them. Okay, if you want you can recover the instances but there are some specific type of instances which can be recovered using EC2 action. Then after if you want stop terminate or reboot whatever you want that action will be performed on your behalf now you can configure auto scaling as well so what should what should happen and what action should be performed so you can you can configure here using this particular item which is known as ec2 action you have not selected auto scaling group so i'm going to delete this action because if i don't delete so that that will not be configured fine so i'm going to create this alarm please select notification so new list i'm going to say create topic name a l a r m alarm i'm going to say new topic example server s e r v e r g y a n at gmail.com and then i will create this alarm so if this reaches beyond the limit so that instance will be rebooted automatically using aws cloud watch alarm okay let me delete this one reason being i have configured notification here so that was giving me an error reason being because i mentioned two times the same stuff okay now uh, recent link for confirmation it is asking me to confirm whether i want to receive email or not let me uh, let me go here i'm going to open gmail and servergyan.com my email id is, oh, is getting opened so i will have to click on uh, confirm subscription so this is confirmed now and if i go here so server gyan waiting for confirmation to zero email id and view alarm so data is insufficient because this is recently i have configured this particular 
So this is how you can configure CloudWatch for all of your resources. This is it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good time. If you have any questions, so please do write in comment box as I shall be happy to reply your questions. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Happy learning.